Hello, everyone. It's Lori Staley, Addicted Stamper with Stampin' Up. You remember, yay, Valerie. <laughs> and it is Tuesday night at 8. So it is time for our live. We are going to be doing something a little different tonight. I'm not going to be stamping for you. Instead, I'm going to be sharing with you the product that just came in my pre-order for the January through April 2023 catalog and the new celebration catalog that'll be coming out in January as well. So I'm going to give you a couple minutes to find me and then we will uh, get started. In the meantime, I'm going to just do a couple of uh, housekeeping issues, right? Of course, the last chance sale and the clearance rack still have lots of great things left available. So if you have not shopped yet, make sure you do before things, more things run out because some things are gone, um, but there's still an opportunity to get some really good products at a great discount. This was a really long, long list, right? So all of those were available as a last chance item. Some are already gone. Some you can still shop and enjoy those discounts. So make sure you take care of that. And then just remember too, that the products in the Fitting Florets collection, of course the gold swirls are already gone, but the framed and festive and the beautiful Fitting Florets designer series paper is while supplies last, but not after December. So if those are two things that you still have on your wish list, you wanna grab those um, sooner rather than later so that you can take advantage of those because they will not be carried over into the January um, January through April catalog, okay? Hey, Janine, hi, Carol, hi, Verna. And then it's December. I'm not sure how it's almost December 7th, but that's tomorrow, right? But these are the December just cards and you earn these cards for free when you place a minimum $30 product order on my website using the month post code. So each month there's a whole new set of five cards. Um, this is December's host code, of course, my. Uh, website is addictedstamper.stampinup.net and you can earn the card kits for free. You can join us for the in-person class the second Wednesday of January if you're local. If you're long distance, we do ask for payment for the postage to mail them to you. Um, that's running about $4. And then of course, if you are local and can't make the class, you can do a porch pickup. So those are what we have available this month. And then last time we were together, we did these two pretty cards um, with the holly leaf bundle. And the winner of these is Christine Flickner. So Christine, I don't know if I saw you come on, but congratulations on winning those cards. And I actually have your gift card uh, class that you earned that I'm getting ready to put in the mail probably tomorrow. So I'll pop those in with that, how about that? going to put your name on it because right now there's a lot of little things sitting around in my studio waiting to either be picked up, mailed, or I've got a team meeting on Saturday night. So some of it's going to the team meeting. So, you know, <laughs> got to keep myself straight, right? All right. So we are going to jump right into this pre-order that arrived today. Um, so here's a funny story and, and a great, a great testimony for stamping up. One of the bundles that I got is this brushed bouquet. Isn't that pretty? I love the flowers. I love the detail. Of course, it's a multi-step floral image. And then we have a couple of different greens that we can use with it. And it has these beautiful dyes. And unless I say differently, I, everything that I'm showing you is in the mini catalog. I do have a couple of items from Celebration, but check out these dyes. So you've got the ones to cut out your stamped images, of course, but then all of these are standalone. They're gonna die cut and emboss. So I can't wait to play with this set. Hi, Corinne. Um, I can't wait to play with this set, but I'm gonna have to wait a little longer because the stamp isn't in the case. <laughs> so I know it's a photopolymer stamp, right? Because it's printed on the back, but the case arrived empty. So Stamping Up's closed today. They're doing one of their better, their best days um, at the home office, but I'll be calling tomorrow morning and I'm sure they will get that right out to me. But that's funny. And that's how things can just happen without your even knowing it, right? All right, but that brush bouquet is going to be beautiful. Uh, let's see, what else do I want to show you? Let me show you a couple of the bundles. 
I did pull them out of the box, but I haven't looked at anything yet, really. This one caught my eye. It's different. Um, it says, just wanted to say thanks. Hello there. You are a blessing. Um, and then we have these curves and this little greenery corner image, which I like that a lot. Tiny little images here with some leaves and then just a splatter type background stamp, right? The dies, let's look at those. They always look different in the catalog than they do in person. Oh, oh yeah, they're gonna be fun. So again, lots of extra dies that are standalone. Here's a whole bunch of hearts for Valentine's Day. This is kind of a wavy scallop and look at this and this corner of greenery. I think these are gonna be fun. I think we're gonna do some fun things with these. Um, but I thought they were different and I don't have anything like this currently in my, my stamp and stash. So I thought, well, let's get these and play with them and see what we can do. So again, that is Around the Bend. Oh, and by the way, the dies are also called Around the Bend. How happy are we that they have put together the stamps and the dies with the same name? I love it. We used to have it years ago. When we first started with dies, um, they were the same name. And then they got away from it. And I understand, having worked in a manufacturing environment, running customer service in those, set, those types of environments, I know what it's like on a pick line. And I know how easy it is to grab the wrong thing. So I understood it from a practical picking and packing of the orders perspective, why they wanted to call them two separate things. But it sure made our lives a little bit more difficult. So I'm so happy that they found a way to change that back. And um, I'm sure they'll be tracking to make sure that there aren't a lot of packing errors as well. Hi, Betty. Then we have fragrant flowers. This is so pretty. Look at that. I can just imagine coloring that with our blends and getting some shading going on, which really the artist has done the shading for us. If you look at all those detail lines in there, right? Um, such a pretty, pretty set. I like the large her greetings. They're bold. They stand up well with the bold floral images. I got, it's so different. When I was setting up, um, had to keep everything forward. Now that I'm watching myself on screen, I need to be bringing it down. It's crazy. And there we go. Beautiful label, with little tiny labels as well. And some greenery, nice centers there, a little accent image. So yeah, this is gonna be a really nice one to play with as well. And I know it's another flower. Thank you, Betty. And why do we need another flower? Because that's what people buy. And that's what, you know, when I looked at what I got, I tried to purposefully tried to make myself not buy a lot of flowers, but you know, you've seen now, I've already bought two, two flower bundles because that's what we like. This one's cute. And I already see an Easter class in my future. Look at this Easter bunny. Isn't he adorable? So the greetings say happy Easter, an Easter treat for you. Enjoy all the little moments. You're a friend like no other. And it's a new day. So, so cute greetings. We've got the eggs. We've got a little bird, a carrot. Of course, three different bunnies positioned. A little high and then some grass. Um, so cute. But what's even cuter. Oh, shoot. let me open this because I know you won't be able to see it from the glare. We have a coordinating punch. So there's the punch. And he's going to punch out this guy right there. So that is going to be adorable. And I can't wait to uh, build, I'm probably gonna do some kind of frame art or wall hanging piece with that for Easter. So stay tuned for that class, because that'll be fun. I'm building, a, I'm building a tower in front of me. Let's hope if it falls, I don't hurt anything or anyone. Um, <laughs> shake, share a milkshake, shake a milkshake, share a milkshake, uh, life is sweeter with you, celebrate, be my Valentine, you're the cherry on top. I really got this because my husband is an ice cream fanatic. And uh, yeah, so I figured I could make some cute cards for him and even a Valentine's Day card for him with this set. That's Shake a Milkshake. Of course, it is part of a bundle. So here's our cone that's gonna fold up. We've got our ice cream bowl. We've got you know scoops of ice cream there, one for a cone, another larger size for a cone. There's our milkshake holder, a couple spoons, hearts, this cool little waffle background, if you will, the cherry and the bowl. Of course, it cuts out every image here, the straw. There's a straw image to cut out. Um, the hearts are different unless they're much bigger stamped than they look here because they're a little bit bigger, but we've got the cherry, we've got the ice cream glass, we've got this topping, 
of scoops, if you will. I think I'm not, that's an interesting stamp. I'm gonna have to stamp that and see how we play with that. Um, of course, the spoon is in there as well. So that one will be fun. That is a non-stamp one. I know, isn't that cool, Corinne? It's very cool. Very, very cool. I need to find a new pile to start. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to show you all the stamps first. Now, because we showed you the bunny there a minute ago, let me pull in this celebration item. This is one of the celebration items. This is a $50 reward. When you make a $50 product purchase before shipping and tax, you get to pick a $50 reward item. And this is one of those. And somehow I see adding the carrots with the bunnies. What do you think? Let's see size-wise what that looks like. Well, maybe not the big carrot, but I'm thinking we can do this one or the small one. What do you think? For the size of bunny, especially this guy, if you can figure out a way to make him hold that, which I've already got an idea to do that. Um, you've got some shading there for your carrots. Look at you. It looks like spring. Hey there, everything's coming up carrots. There's no one quite like you. Love you. Thanks a bunch. Cute little hearts and then some shading and a leaf and some greenery. So somehow I think I can make those two work together. We'll see, we'll see. All right, and then this one I swore when I saw it in the catalog and on the display board at uh, convention or on, back sta no, on stage, um, I thought, oh, I'm not gonna want that. And then my dear friend Connie was actually demonstrating for us um, and uh, she demonstrated this background stamp and so now I had to have it and I can't wait to show you what she did with it but it's it's the world it's the globe right and I think there are going to be a lot of different things that we can do with it but the one that she did the one technique that she did that I'll be sharing with you in the future is what really sold me on grabbing this particular background stamp so don't don't say no don't don't ever say I'll never buy that because you know what Somebody's going to show you something to do with it, hopefully me, and you're going to fall in love just like I did. So, and then, ha, 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 here come the gnomes. We've got another set of gnomes. And of course, um, they coordinate with the dyes that are in the kindest gnomes. So the dyes are carrying over from the retiring mini catalog to coordinate with the friendly gnomes that are gonna be in the new mini catalog, but the stamp set kindness gnomes is retiring. So the friendly gnomes is very cute. Now this one, the, of course the uh, dies and the stamp set name won't match, but that's okay. We, we can survive one or two here or there, I think. But I really, really think this is cute. And uh, we've got a little squirrel and a bird and a balloon. Uh, wishing you the most magical of birthdays. There's gnome one better than you, love you. Gnome, sweet gnome, and spring is everywhere. How cute is that? It's really cute. So I'm excited to play with that one too. That's going to be uh, lots of fun to color as well. Look at those images. Look at this. Look at little flowers on his beard. Perfect for Valentine's Day, right? And then she's just giving you that side eye, right? Anybody get that side eye from their mother? <laughs> My mother had a look. And it was the Shirley look. And my friends knew the look as well as my brother and I knew the look. So that's kind of funny. Um, okay. And then I did get a suite of product. Oh, excuse me. So that is the playing in the rain. Look at those cute little animals. I think this is so cute. I just, I don't know which one I like better. The turtle. I have a thing for turtles. I love this little bunny hopping in the puddle. And then the little fox with the umbrella. Rainy days are better with you. Oh, happy day. Got some raindrops, some clouds, some flowers. Because of course, April showers bring May flowers, right? So that's our stamp set. Oh, I didn't pull this one out of the paper, sorry. I didn't really look at anything, but I did try to prep it. So I didn't take a lot of time you know, pulling designer papers out and pulling dyes out of their sleeves. Let's see what these look like. Holy cow, that's a lot of dyes. So of course, one to cut out all the images. There's our clouds, there's our fox, that's our bunny, there's our turtle, that's our flowers. 
Oh, and it looks like we're going to be able to cut. No, I think that's, oh yeah, there it is. That little stamp for the puddle is right there. It doesn't look like the bunny is going to cut the puddle though. So we might have to stamp it twice to set him on the puddle. I'm not sure. We've got the umbrella, which of course is right there. Some grass, a kite, some bow ties to put on our little animals. I think these are butterflies. That's a great like bridge, little tree stump. And I'm not sure what that is. And I'm not really seeing anything that it would be cutting out. So who, anybody got any idea what that one is? I don't know. I'll have to cut it and find out, huh? But yeah, cute. This is a really cute set. And just because it's cute doesn't mean you can only send it to kids, right? Adults like cute. Like that would put a smile on anybody's face. I don't care who you are. All right. That is all the bundles and individual stamp sets that I got, at least in this order. My other order hasn't come yet. Yes, there were three. <laughs> uh, here is the embossing folder that is in the Playing in the Rain suite. And hopefully the camera's picking that up. It's just raindrops. So that'll be fun to create a background of raindrops, right? I'm trying to tilt it so you can see it. I think that works. Okay. This is not a 3D. This is just a standard embossing folder, but it is a nice large one. It's a six by six. And then there's designer series paper called Rain or Shine. This has basic black, balmy blue, Cajun craze, flirty flamingo, mango melody, and old olive. So let's look at that. Look at that, look at that stormy sky with the rain coming down. So this has some silver foil accents on it to show the raindrops. That is a very cool piece of paper. And then on the back, we just have a little pattern with some flirty flamingo and some distressing going on. There's our umbrellas. And I'm looking at, this is all shiny too. So this is foiled a little bit, but I'm guessing that those dyes are gonna at least cut out the mini umbrella. Um, if not, I don't know if we can use the fox dye to cut out the big umbrella or not. We'll have to play with that and see but that's cool. And then we've got some mango melody flowers on the back side. Oh, bow for the kite. Yep, that's it, Corinne. You got it. Part of the kite. Yep, Valley. That's it. Thank you. See, it takes a village. That's another cool one. Heavy, heavy rain. I'll probably have it upside down now that I look at it. But that's pretty cool. These are good for um, scrapbooking too, rainy day scrapbooking. Flirty Flamingo and Mango Melody together. And you know what? I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Look at, oh my goodness, there's a little pig on here. A little pig. There's our turtle again. Again, we've got foil going, foil action. Camera's probably picking that up with the clouds. And I guess he's a little dog. Looks like a puppy dog. So that's kind of cute. And then uh, I think that's another cross between flirty and mango in the raindrops. Great scrapbooking piece, right? You can see a fun spring day da, 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 a little, 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 scrapped on top of that. Yes, I can. I can speak tonight. Oh, and a nice plant pattern in the mango melody. Another cute one. That's adorable. And again, these we can cut out. We can cut every one of those guys out with the dies. So you, this is a uh, no fuss, no muss, right? And then a nice stripe. It is too cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's adorable. So that is the paper that goes with the rainy day collection. And that is 12 by 12, obviously. And then we have these really cute, tiny little flowers. Holy cow, are these tiny. So let me see if I can put a couple in my hand. Looks like there might be two sizes. There's a smaller one and a little bit larger one. And apparently all that wants to come out and play with us right now are the larger ones. So I'm gonna put them up closer to the camera in the hopes that you can see them. 
they're, I guess, I was gonna say they don't feel real hard, but I guess they're solid, you know, solid enough that they're gonna stick to your projects with glue dots or Tombow liquid glue. But they're really tiny and really cute. So you've got some white and yellow and some yellow and flirty or mango. That might be a shade of mango. I was working last night and had yet another bleed in my eye. So I have even less vision than I had when we were together on Sunday night. Two more embossing folders. I'm gonna take them out of the sleeve because I know the light's reflecting off the plastic. Um, but I left them in because I thought it was easier to see the pattern if you could actually see the printed paper. This is called Cane Weave. I'm not sure if it looks like Cane Weave to me, but maybe like the seat of a chair, I guess. Um, and I love our embossing folders. This one happens to be 3D, but they're always cool and give us not, lots of fun backgrounds. I'm excited about this next one until I, and I wanna see it done, but I terribly miss, um, what was it? Timeless texture or timeless textile or something like that. It was just a really nice all over subtle background pattern. And I keep wanting to replace that and painted texture is the closest I can get, but that doesn't really do it either. So this one is called metal plate. And hopefully you can see that pattern, but that one might do it. So I'm anxious to, to run these through and see, do I have any paper laying here that I can do that with? I have some white, maybe. I used a lot of the white I had in here. Let's, let's, let's run a piece through, what the heck, right? Let's see what it looks like. I'm curious, are you curious? Oh, I don't think it's going to be what I thought it was, but we'll see. Let's just try for a second. It's a 3D. So we're taking our, oh, that's kind of cool. Can you see that? Yeah, that's kind of, that's going to be a good background one, I think, all over background pattern. I like that. Hopefully you can see that. It does kind of look like uh, some of the metal I've seen on tractor trailers on their steps and things. So that's kind of cool. All right. So that's what that one looks like. See if I have another piece in here. We'll try to clean them while we have them out of their little piece. I have a smaller piece of vanilla. Let's see what this one looks like. Run that one through. Yeah, I guess I could see how that might be similar to a chair, seat of a chair or the back of a chair. Yeah, it would look good on silver foil, absolutely. So there's that one. That might be a good back, just all over background too. It's a little more defined than the one I'm thinking of was, but yeah, I think that would work well. Cool. Okay. So now we have our sample. We know what they're going to look like when we emboss with them. All right. Want me to keep going? Let's do, let's do embellishments next because I have them laying right here. So this one I wanted to order like three or four packages of, but I didn't because we weren't allowed to. <laughs> but look at these, aren't they cute? So these are silver dragonflies. And of course we have some of those great garden sets that I think they'll be perfect with. And how many do you get in a package? You get 20 of them. They're a nice size. They're going to go on very well with glue dots. 
would be my recommendation. Um, they're really bright silver. So I kind of like that too, but they are so cute. And probably the camera's not picking up all the detail, um, but very, very cute. And then we have, these are called enamel dot essentials. And I should have written down what colors they are and I didn't. And I'm not even gonna hazard a guess tonight. Because <laughs> the bottom ones look black, but they might be Knight of Navy. I'm gonna go with Knight of Navy, maybe crumb cake and vanilla or white. Where's that vanilla paper? Let's see. Hi, Connie, thank you. Yeah, I think vanilla, crumb cake and Knight of Navy. And somebody asked one time, and I, I really wish they would, and I, I put it in the sandbox. And if you guys feel the same way, let me know. But I wish they'd put the colors on the back of the um, embellishments the way they do with the designer series paper. That would be helpful, I think. So those are the enamel dots. These are the opaque adhesive back gems. We've got white, fresh freesia, gorgeous grape, and I'm not sure. You think it's real red? I think it might be real red. I think it's geared towards the Valentine's Day product line. So I think that's real red, but they're cute. They remind me of the solid faceted gems that we have right now. And then we have the adhesive backed milky dots. So those are pretty, I'm not even gonna hazard a guess on what colors they're supposed to be because that's gorgeous. That looks almost gold, but I'm going to guess it's some kind of a. Well, thank you, Carol. It was Night of Navy White. and It was white. Okay. So see, I'm seeing vanilla. So Night of Navy White and Crumb Cake. I had two of the three. She's got her book there. She can tell me what these are too, can't you? Because I'm curious. <laughs> And I think there's a division in the color right here. At least in my eyes, there is. This is just a little bit darker than this. And then we've got this pretty one and this one. So let's see if Carol can help us out and tell us what they are. Pretty, pretty. By the way, if you're watching and you don't have a demonstrator that you're working with in the United States and you would like catalogs, please let me know. Um, if you've ordered from me within the last six months, you already are on my list and they are probably being mailed as we speak. But um, if you don't have a demonstrator, let me know and we'll work out a way to get you some catalogs. So these are gorgeous. These are called Pastel Adhesive Back Sequins. And they are very pretty. And I love that they're adhesive backed. So you have two full sheets here, large and small. And some of that is gonna be petal pink. And there's that really pretty bluish iridescent color again. I did not do my homework, I apologize. I could pull my catalog and look here real quick and see because of course it's laying right beside me. I just can't put it in camera. Not yet anyway, a couple more weeks. They are, where did this look? 15. Let's see. Calypso coral, balmy blue and gold in the iridescent products. And then was this other one? Oh, she's got it. Petal pink, balmy blue, and gold. Okay. Was that the milky dots or the sequins, Carol? Milky dots. 
that was the Milky Dots, maybe. Milky Dots are Knight of Navy, Petal Pink, and White. Knight of Navy, Petal Pink, and White. Well, I don't know. Oh, and Mango Melody. So this is Mango Melody, Knight of Navy, Petal Pink, and White. Okay. So there we go. We have the mystery solved. But they're both very pretty. I really like these sequins. And I love that blue, that Knight of Navy on there. All right. We're going to lay these aside. And I won't bother you guys while I try to put that back together. Let's look at designer paper. So this one is called Ready to Ride. Yes, there is a motorcycle stamp set. Yes, I will be getting it because I have a nephew who's a dirt biker and oh, some days he thinks he wants a motorcycle. <laughs> some days he doesn't. Um, but anyway, look at this. Some black foil with the roses on there. That is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Then more black foil. Whip, let's flip it over. We've got some, uh, <clears throat> sorry. I think it's black and soft suede. Let's see if I'm right, colors. Basic black, basic gray, pumpkin pie, soft suede, and very vanilla is the colors in here. A great neutral pattern. And there's our pumpkin pie. Wrenches, oh, that'll be perfect for him. He's a car. Our geek. That's cute. It's like old time diners and stuff on here. That's really cute. Lug nuts. And then these you can cut apart and make into little accents or focal points on your cards. That's a very pretty piece right there. Um, there's... So yeah, so this is gonna be fun. That looks like the flag they throw at the races, right? And then all the gear, the boots, the gloves. Hey, this looks like our embossing folder. I'm guessing that's part of the suite. And there's the bikes. So this is fun paper, great for men, great masculine cards, even if you don't use the stamp set itself. And you don't have to use it for men though because we have the roses in here, right? So that's very, very pretty. The next one I have is called Country Floral with Balmy Blue, Mint Macaron, Mossy Meadow, Petal Pink, and Sweet Sorbet in the colors. Great floral hearts. And then a very nice light pattern with hearts. That's a pretty background pattern. I'm not usually a mint macaron person, but I like it in that design. And then little hearts. So this is good for Valentine's Day. Oh, look at the bicycles. That is really cute. And you can do strips, right? So you can have accent pieces. You can use it as a background or just take a strip and use it, whether it be the floral or the bicycles. A nice, another nice neutral balmy blue pattern with the stripe. Pinks and the reds, that's good for Valentine's Day as well. And then another balmy blue pattern. And again, this one could be a stripe because they're laid out very nicely like that. This coordinates with the punch. I did not get the punch yet. I couldn't get it all. I wanted to, but I couldn't. <laughs> We won't even tell my husband what I spent. No, he never, he never says a word. He just says, hey, you got to have it. So get it. I'm like, okay. Uh, um, but he gets it. He knows. And then a nice sweet sorbet stripe. Nice balmy blue. Good for masculine. And then, of course, the sweet sorbet tiny heart pattern. So great, great pack of paper. Whether it be for spring or Valentine's Day, I can see lots of uses for those patterns as well. I'm gonna try to slide that back in. To the sleeve. All right, next, 
So that really pretty flower, the sky, right? Fragrant flowers has a pack of paper available in celebration. And it looks like this. And you're gonna know as soon as you see the first piece, this is my favorite pack of paper. Wonder why. Wonder why that's my favorite pack of paper. Um, but of course, it's the purples, right? So the colors in this one include basic black, blackberry bliss, calypso coral, evening evergreen, fresh freesia, mossy meadow, and petal pink. Love it. Love, love, love. Look at those purple roses or whatever flower that is. I'm not a gardener. I've said that to you before. And then a great background blackberry bliss. Love that. We haven't had blackberry bliss in background for a while. This one's really pretty too. This is great fall paper, even though it's coming out in the spring. Um, just think those colors lend themselves to a fall card. And the mossy meadow on the back. Nice neutral pattern. More purple. Can't go wrong with purple. So pretty. And wait, let's pull the dyes out because I'm wondering if any of this I don't think it does. Maybe, no. <gasps> Shocking. I thought for sure something would cut out, but I don't believe so. All right. It's worth a shot, right? Yeah, I'm seeing it for the first time too. So um, ooh, that's a cool pattern. I like that. Nice. And then this one, pretty color combinations there. Another nice soft neutral. I think I put those guys away too soon. I do believe we have found, there we go. So you can cut them out. Look at that. That's that one. And this one. We'll cut the smaller one out. So that's your pattern right there that you'll be able to cut out with your dies. And don't we all love that? I mean, I don't know about you and I like coloring, but man, if I can cut them out of beautiful already colored design series paper, I am all about that. It is called making it easy. What's that button that uh, Staples has the easy button? That makes it easy. So that's very cool. And again, the paper is free. Um, I'm not sure what the bundle costs. Most of them are in the $50 range. So if the bundle is $50, then you can add the paper for free. Makes it an even better value. And then, oh, look at the purple. And then this pretty one too. Love this one as well. Okay, all right. So I love the fact that we have these bold, patterns of floral images on one side and then great just backgrounds right on the other side very very cool love it love it love it okay there's that one And then the last one that I, oh no, the last 12 by 12 that I have is called Enjoy the Journey. And it has Coastal Cabana, Garden Green, Highland Heather, Mango Melody, Melon Mambo, Polished Pink, Pumpkin Pie, and Starry Sky. Holy cow, that's a lot of colors. So there we go. There's our mountains. Again, cut them, right? This is, this is the easy card. You just cut that into a card front size, put your greeting over here, maybe add an embellishment or a little bit of ribbon and you've got a card made. And then a great neutral pattern on the back in the garden green. We ignored garden green for quite a while. I'm glad to see we're getting not only ribbons but also designer series paper. This is also garden green. That's a neat pattern. Very cool. I'm not sure which, well, yep, goes this way because the clouds are going. The clouds were upside down when I turned that around. And again, a nice neutral pattern on the back. This one's beautiful as well. Looks like a desert sunset to me, although there's mountains there, so maybe it's a mountain sunset. Okay, melon mambo pattern on the back. 
There's our purples and greens. And there is, oh, and I love that. That is gonna make beautiful backgrounds with skies, nighttime skies. And we don't have to blend it. It'll be all done for us. Beautiful. This one's pretty as well. So there is an adventure stamp set that goes with this paper. And I think it has a hiker and a, maybe a bicyclist and a couple other types of outdoorsy activities. Um, but again, you don't have to use it with that. You can use it uh, in, other, in other ways. <clears throat> okay, so I think let's go to the six by six paper. This one is the Regency Park six by six, 48 sheets. Uh, balmy Blue, Mango Melody, Night of Navy, Petal Pink, Shaded Spruce, and Sweet Sorbet. This is uh, floral imagery based with neutral patterns on the back. Tiny little flowers and then the balmy blue. Nice stripe. And those are uh, I thought they were hearts, but I don't think they are. <laughs> Just a nice soft pattern background. Oh, another one that could be a night sky. Cute, cute, cute. I like those colors together on that one. And then another uh, starry sky background. This one has the starry sky in the back. This one has, looks like shaded spruce to me. But I think the flowers are similar. Oh, you know what that looks like? That looks like the cane embossing folder, that pattern on the back there. Sweet sorbet, polka dots, some balmy blue, shaded spruce with little flowers. It's pretty too. Nice neutral. And one more. Nice stripes. So again, floral or detailed imagery on one side and nice neutrals that we can use on the back, um, on the backgrounds of our projects. Makes the, I think it makes the designer's paper more versatile than if we had really bold patterns on both sides. Would you agree? Okay. Last six by six that I have is uh, Country Gingham, Balmy Blue, Mint Macaron, Petal Pink, and Sweet Sorbet. And if you are a country lover, then you're gonna love this because look at this gingham. That is so cute. And then we have the Mint Macaron pattern on the back. Okay. Balmy Blue. Another sweet sorbet and another mint macaron. Petal pink, balmy blue. That's a nice uh, check. And mint macaron, and then petal pink again, and balmy blue. So there are six patterns, six pieces, which means that a 48 inch, 48 piece pack you're getting eight. We usually get four. You're getting eight in each pattern, right? So that is different. That is a, a mix up. And that is great if you are doing a lot of one card or, you know, if you do a card front out of a six by six, well, you've pretty much blown the sheet. So now we have more sheets in the different gingham patterns. And I think gingham is going to be a big background for us. So I think that that is awesome that we have a little bit more there. Okay, let me show you. I just have a few more things. My table wasn't, I uh, didn't have enough space up close. I have to roll around now to get the rest of this. This is called texture shimmer paper. It is 12 by 12. There are three colors and the colors are balmy blue, shaded spruce and white. 
and hopefully the camera will pick it up. I left the one light off tonight because I didn't want the glare. So hopefully that's helping uh, not get quite as much glare. But there's definitely texture in the shimmer paper and it's double-sided. So often our shimmer papers are not, right? So this is awesome. Um, I don't know if the camera's picking up that texture or not. It's very fine lines running the whole way down through it. And it's definitely like really, really fine corrugation. That would be my way I would describe it. Um, and you can definitely feel it with your fingers. So there is the shaded spruce. Here's the balmy blue. So pretty. Oh. Mm. And then the white. Also very pretty. That's almost pearlescent effect. So those are going to be fun to play with. Make great accent pieces and uh, can you see it? Okay, good, 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 good. Then we have vellum basics specialty designer series paper. Now I'm going to pull that shaded spruce back in of that texture and lay that lay these vellum patterns on top of it because I think that will help you see them better. But right now, you're probably not seeing a whole lot when you look at that. It's like, uh, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> but look at that. So leaf pattern, right? <clears throat> Sorry, guys. It's funny, my voice doesn't get funny anymore until I'm on with you guys. But I think it's because I don't really talk this much when I'm here all day by myself, right? Um, so very nice soft vellum pattern. This is what happens to be leaves when you take it away. It, it almost blends away from you. And then we have polka dots, cute little polka dots. And you get two sheets of each of these three patterns in the pack. And then we have stripes. I'm kind of glad they're doing more with our vellum. Um, I, I like that we have some different pieces now with the other set of vellum that we have. But uh, those are going to be fun to play with. Again, you get two of each sheet, 12 by 12, in the pack of the Vellum Basics. And that was nice to have that shimmer paper there to help show it, show it off. Okay, and then I've got some ribbons to share with you. And this one is, a, it's called Pool Party Grow Grain. It's a little different than if you've been around. Hey, Christine. Yeah, I love that shimmer paper too. Um, so this is called grow grain. It's a little different than the old style grow grain. It has a nice little edge border on it. And that is pool party. This one is night of Navy. And that is definitely a different effect. Most a linen effect with some satin edges, maybe I'm not sure. And then we have a double pack. Christine, by the way, you won the cards from last week. So I have your gift card class, um, probably popping it in the mail. Tomorrow's Wednesday, Thursday morning, it'll probably go out. So I'll stick them in with that. Congratulations. And then we have the real red and the crumb cake uh, ribbons as well. This one also has like a little satin edge on it. And this one has some stitching along the edges. So they'll be fun to play with. They'll go really nice with that. Uh -huh. Yep, the cottage, not the cottage one, the pink heart one that we started with in the DSPs. I don't know the names yet. And by the way, I will be doing my paper share again. So stay tuned for more details on that if you're interested. I have no idea. I haven't even sat down and started crunching the numbers for the packages that we have now, but I'll be getting that put together and out. Probably the week before Christmas, I'll start putting the information out. And then we have some new tools, which I had to get to see and play with. And this is our blending brush stand. Okay, lace flat. It has little spots for feet. The feet come in the packaging. I haven't put it together yet. I haven't decided if I'm keeping this or using this tomorrow or Saturday night at my team meeting. And then we have small blending brushes. Look at that. Smaller head. Let's grab one of the other ones so you can see the difference. So if you've always wished we had something a little bit smaller that you could get into tighter places, now we do. Look at that. And it's just as soft and just as fabulous as our other brushes. 
And this is going to hold both styles. So I don't know if you can see down through, probably not, but here's, so you're gonna put it down through and stand it into that opening. And then this one would do the same thing. So that's how they'll stand up for you. Go to the back, does the same thing. I'm, I'm sure this does not work, no. So, but you gotta make sure you hit those holes down there. They're gonna go face down on you. So there we go. So that's kind of cool. Um, and I love the fact that we have the smaller blending brushes, right? That's, that is awesome. Well, believe it or not, guys, that's what I got. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send them with your gift card class. That's what you had earned with your order. So I'm going to put those in with that and get those off to you on Thursday morning. All right. Hey, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. What do you think? Are you excited about the new catalog? I am. I think I said the other night on my Facebook Live, I'm ready to start playing with something other than Christmas. I have about another week of Christmas. And then the, um, let's see, I think it's the week of the 18th. Uh, for both my Facebook lives and for here for YouTube, we'll be doing sneak peeks. So you'll want to tune in for all of that as well. Okay. Hopefully you're excited. And like I said, if you are US based and don't have a demonstrator, let me know. We'll get some catalogs off to you. Keep your fingers crossed that my celebration catalogs show up before Monday because Lori remembered to order the mini catalogs, but she forgot to order the celebration catalog. So I had to put another order in. <laughs> Um, so my fingers are crossed because my clubs start on Monday and I usually try to get them their catalogs at the end of clubs. So hopefully they'll be here. Hey guys, I appreciate you tuning in. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed the show. Um, and I will be live on my Facebook page Thursday morning at 10 with coffee and cards. Uh, we're going to do some angles over there, but easy angles. And uh, then Sunday night at 8. I'll be back on Facebook and I'll be back here with all of you on YouTube on Tuesday night at eight. So join me at one or all and I hope you stay safe and have a great weekend until I see you again. Thanks. Bye.